Good morning. Um, I'm curious. What do you do in an emergency? Like, how do you behave in an emergency? Do you panic and end up doing nothing? Do you turn the other way, you know, drive past, walk past, leave it for somebody else? Or do you take action? Because um, these are the ways that people behave. And many of us just turn the other way, don't we? leave it for somebody else. But what happens if it's somebody that you care for, somebody you're connected with, maybe it's a, one of your children, one of your other relatives, what if it's somebody you work with, and something happens to them and it's an emergency. Let's say they get a terrible gash of some sort and they're bleeding. Do you turn away then? Do you leave it to other people or do you try to do something? Now, I suspect most of us would try to do something. We wouldn't go, oh, that's their problem. You know, it should heal eventually or, you know, hope that something else or somebody else does something about it. You'd step in, wouldn't you? And you'd do something. So I'm giving you that example because we are in a state of emergency on the planet at the moment. I mean, it's, there's a catastrophe unfolding. We're in the beginning and the climate scientists, the IPCC, the Internet, governmental panel on climate change which is the UN like you know world organization has told us not that we've got 10 years left we've got 10 years till we hit 1.5 degrees and um, so the emergency is now it's not 10 years time it's not five years time and I'm just wondering what are you doing in the state of emergency we're in because just like you would do something if it was somebody you were connected to well you're connected to the earth like, you know, we are all connected to the Earth because without her and without her amazing ecosystems working the way that they can, we're toast. Oh, great. A flipping oil lorry goes fast. How appropriate is that? Um, and they, so we need to do something, don't we? We need to take action. We need to step up. We need to stop. We need to change what we're doing to deal with the emergency and right now our government's not doing you know what it's doing is minimal uh, the big corporations are doing next to nothing because why would they their bottom line is profit and um, so we have to do something and that's what i'm calling on this is part of radical self-care i'm talking about the bigger self that we're part of that we depend on we're interdependent with where there is no separation so if you would do it for your child if you would do it for your mother, your father, your granny, your neighbour, your work colleague, then you need to do it for the planet. You need to make those changes. And, and I think you know what some of the changes are that you could be doing. So, you know, be brave, be courageous and do it. Um, I'm going to be talking about this a lot more because it is an emergency situation and something has got to be done and it's got to be done by us. So this is Mary Stones from Change Is Always Possible and um, get in touch, comment, share the ways that you are doing something and let's help each other to make the shifts that we need to do because I'm not saying it's easy but it is doable and um, let's stop turning the other way and pretending it's not happening or waiting for somebody else um, to do something. We can do it. All right, that's enough. Bye.